I want to demonstrate how to configure AQ Connect to take da data from a, a CSV file that contains both stage and discharge data and import that into Aquarius. So in this example, uh, we have a location called Grand River. There are two configured data sets, one for discharge and one for stage. Um, both of these are currently empty. There's no data in them. And I want to take the data from this data file which is 15 minute data and be able to uh, configure AQ Connect so that when I take the file, this CSV file, and drop it into a particular folder in um, on the server, that Aquarius will automatically, or AQ Connect will automatically process that file and append it to the appropriate data sets, the discharge data set or the stage data set. So in this example data file in our third column, one, two, three, in our third column, we have our stage data. And in the seventh column, we have the discharge data. So uh, now we go over to AQ Connect to the web interface. The first step is to configure a location. So we can click on the uh, create location link here and enter in the information Grand River. In my example, I just got the same name for the same identifier and the name. UTC offset, we are on the West Coast, so I'll give it a minus eight. We don't need to fill in these other this other information. I'll click on save. Okay, so now we have our location. When I click on that location, it takes me to everything that we know about this particular location, how it's configured. So it's quite empty at the moment. The, uh, the, the next step is to create a connector. And the connector is the core of what brings in and ties together um, data for the Aquarius Connect process. Um, the connector is where one configures how one is going to get the data from a system, whether it's through an FTP server or through a database or through a file system. It, the connector is where one tells Aquarius how to parse that data that it, it has extracted from those various sources. And the connector is where one sets up an export driver for where one is going to send the data to. So. Um, in, in this case, it's going to be a, a certain Aquarius server, and currently there is only one export driver available in Aquarius Connect, um, but it's possible that in the future there will be add-ons to this to allow us to export data elsewhere. But for now, we're going to be sending it to our Aquarius system. So let's start by giving it a name. I'm just going to call it Grand River connector. If we wanted to, we could have it go uh, associate it with a schedule, but in this case, I'll just leave it as is. We're going to enable the connector, and it's kind of a wizard at a wizard step-by-step -step process here, so I'll click Save and Next. And now what are our choices for the extraction driver? So how are we going to get the data? Well, it's a text file, so we want to use the text file extraction driver. And um, we then need to choose a rule profile. So profiles are just a way to save uh, settings that you've configured previously. So then you don't need to fill out all of the different fields each time. So I'm just going to um, assume this is a, the first time we're going at it here and entering it. So I'm just going to choose the default. And I'll click. So, sorry, when I do click that default setting, you notice now it's populated everything that we can uh, complete here. So, um, note, what do we have? We've got a text parsing expression. So, this is where we tell Aquarius, what do each of these columns represent? So, this will be a, a regular expression. Uh, there's information on what a regular expression is in the help manual. So, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail uh, on that here as it's quite uh, potentially quite an involved topic 
but the regular expression that we are going to be using to parse this text file is, is this right here. So it um, fairly, looks fairly complex, but there's very definite logic to it. And um, so note uh, down below, there's some other things we can change here. Um, there's a, quite a few advanced settings that can be changed uh, in terms of how it gets parsed. But we're just going to leave it at, at the, all of these at the default. I'll click Save and Next. Oh, it does need something here which I've neglected to put in. And we're going to set that at uh, minus 8 for the UTC offset. And now it should let me advance to the next stage, which it does. So the uh, connection driver is um, where, what, what am I using to get this from? Uh, what, uh, what technology am I using to get this data um, that I've just that I, in the previous step, I just configured how to parse it. So in a way, it's sort of a little bit backwards. You wouldn't expect to be asked this question first, but no problem. I'm um, getting this data through the file system, so I'll choose that. And again, I'm just going to choose the default and move on to the next step. So you'll see we have the source path here, which says a list of file paths to process, maybe an individual file or folder including wildcards. So I'm just going to click on add new list item and it allows us now to enter a path to where our data file is going to be. So I'm going to put the data, let's see, um, let's, I'm going to be dropping it into that folder. So I'm just going to copy that path into this location here. And it's just, uh, I'm going to leave these as their default values. There's more advanced settings and some other things we can add, but we don't need to do that for this example. I will click Next. And now we are in the data set rules phase. So this is where we tell Aquarius now, um, AQ Connect, where it should put each of the pieces of data that it has extracted from this data file. So we're going to be telling it to pull out this column for stage and this column for discharge and also what data sets it should be moved to or imported into. So the data set identifier represents the column, the, uh, the numeric column uh, that the value uh, pattern match uh, matches and that's a bit of a mouthful so let me just illustrate this is our pure uh, regular expression that is parsing the data so I'm just going to copy over one of these lines of data to illustrate so if this is our data that we're parsing this regular expression will extract things like the year which uh, through, through pattern matching, through this syntax, it's going to grab the year, which will be 2018, and call it year. Month will be extracted from here, so for July. Day will be 18, corresponding to this one. Time in the format specified will be this string here. Now, the value string is what we're trying to capture for stage and discharge. So what this is doing, the value string is right there. Um, the value, the number that we put in here, I'm going to put in 1 in this case for stage. That corresponds, whenever, whenever one puts in a value here, that gets replaced in the regular expression here. So now this is a complete regular expression with one representing the first match for value for this value um, value um, parsing expression if this was a two if this were a two it would find the second matching uh, value that that meets this the syntax uh, and so on. So the third column, fourth column, fifth column. So in our in our data example, 
here. All of the stuff on this to the left of that value expression is everything here to the left of our actual stage. So the first value, when this is 1, will match this value here, 1.981. If I So that's for stage. Now for discharge, I'm going to put it to 5, which will correspond to, so here's the first match. That would be 1. This would be 2 in the second column after that match. Third column, fourth column, fifth column. That would be for discharge. So 5 will be the uh, value that we'll put in there. And uh, pardon me, it should be in in curly brackets. That's the regular expression uh, syntax like that. It'll find the fifth matching pattern. So now I uh, will just enable this um, so it, it knows which one to grab. But now where should it put it? Well, then we click on the export rule. So it, we're going to use the Aquarius export driver. That's the only one that exists. It's going to meaning it's going to go to an, an Aquarius time series, and we'll just choose the default. We'll enable it. What's the parameter identifier? Well, it's stage data. What data set is it be going going to be going into? It's going to be going into the logger data set. So if we look over here, that's how I've named it. This one here for stage, log, so logger. And the name of the uh, location, let's uncheck that, is Grand River. And if we wanted, we could be assigning some grade codes and some other more advanced features upon the append which I, I don't want to do at this point. So that's for um, that's for stage. Now let's add another one down here. We want to add another rule now for discharge. So I'm going to click on Add Data Set Rule. We get the same things again, but we know, as we just discussed, we want the fifth column for the value. And we will call that discharge. I'm going to add an export rule, just as before, Aquarius time series, be the default. We will en enable it. It's the discharge parameter. It's also called logger, as we did for stage. Grand River is the location identifier. And then we'll click Save and Finish. Oh, I missed enabling that one. Save and Finish. Now, once I've saved it, it takes us back to the connector, uh, the connector main page, which gives us all of the information that we have configured. We've got our extraction rule here. We've got our connection driver here. If we want any information, we just click on this button on each of these. And we have each of our stage and discharge um, uh, exporting locations. So now I'm going to take that data file this is and, and drop it into this location. This is the location that we configured for Aquarius uh, Connect to look at. So here it is, the Grand River data uh, CSV. I'm going to go back into the folder that we've configured, which is this one right here. I will paste it in. Now it's just sitting there because we haven't triggered Aquarius Connect to do anything with it yet. So I am now going to go back to the connector for Grand River. You see we have this Run Connector option. Um, but before I click that, I want to go over and have a look at the event log. You'll notice there's nothing in the event log right now. So let's see, if I run this, one would hope that it would parse it correctly. But even if it doesn't parse correctly, the event log should tell us what went wrong. So I'll click on that, give it a moment, and I'll go over to the event log, and let's see. Okay, so it looks like we've got an access to path denied for the, the user that I'm running as. So we'll look into that. And uh, the issue I had was I had not 
put the complete path to the file. I just had the folder. So it was looking for a file named the name of the folder, which doesn't exist. So uh, it's just a matter of, um, in this case, I added the wildcard, the asterisk wildcard dot CSV, which means any file that ends with CSV will be processed. So we can uh, see how that functions here. I'll go back to the connector main page, click on a run the connector, go back over to the event log, and now we see a lot of information that it retrieved it. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see that starting here, it's pulling out 698 points from the first and the fifth column. It sees the range of dates and it's doing the appending to those particular data sets. So then if we go over to Aquarius and uh, let's just select both of these and open them up in the data viewer and let's have a look. And there you go. Now you see we've got our stage and our, and our discharge data. So at this point, if we have any new data that comes in and gets dropped at this location, it, and then you run the connector, it will get processed if it's a CSV, if it ends with CSV. And just summing up, there's one thing I neglected to mention initially is how one actually configures connecting to the Aquarius server. Um, so that's under the extraction, uh, sorry, export driver. You'll see there's the one export driver, which I mentioned for Aquarius. There's, there's only one currently with Wiki Connect to connect to an Aquarius server. Um, so let's just click on that and you'll see there's, uh, you'll just have initially when you go in, there'll be the default, which is fine. Let's we'll go into the default. And here you'll see Aquarius time series target and all of these expand out. Sometimes it's not easy to notice that they are, there's more info under this. So let's click it to expand it. And you'll see it says Aquarius time series host name. Just put in your server name, your user and your password. And then you can, uh, assign whenever you choose that default profile elsewhere in AQ Connect, it will be using these credentials.